All right, so map description. This map's not my favorite to make. I learned a great deal from it. Mr. Knock, your hat is inside the volume of the test chamber. It doesn't mean it's actually in the playable area. I hid it well, I hope. Uh, special thanks to a load of people um, for their contributions and playtesting. So, yeah, as I was saying, we'll play the map first. And then once we have um, been through the map, I'll ha ha iron spell tree. <laughs> Plain sight. Jeez. Uh, we'll play through the map first, and then um, we will. Easter egg it and find try and look for our hat unless we accidentally find it in the meantime. Not sure we will. But uh, who knows what might happen. Wait, that's Sarah's blink co-op. You've constructed me like a co-op bot. I do believe I am a co-op also. Frames. Could I please have some frames? Holy cow. What's going on here? Frames, please. I've not got anything running that would be interfering with the frames, so. Uh, no. Yes. I'm going to close everything down that I don't need open at the minute. I'm not sure. I'll say it's uh, looking pretty nice first impressions. I never really looked up on the um I think it's it's starting to settle down a little bit. I think it might just be the map actually. Um I never actually looked looked up in terms of the co op, but the actual like normal turbine elevator shaft is kind of there with this just plonked over the top. Never noticed that before. Fumbly, what's going on? Welcome along. Let's go well. Alright, anyway. Like I said, we're going to solve the map first. I know, it still. It still seems a bit choppy. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, this is the the knock Easter egg where we're actually looking for frames and not a blue hat. Okay. Things are happening. Oh, there is detail here. All right, let's head on over here. It might take me a little bit to get going here because um, I'll be honest, like I said, it's been a while since I actually played some Portal. It's a very pretty map. There's lots of detail. I'm, I'm trying not to take it all in at the minute because we're going to search for it after us. Where does that come out? Oh, no, it's giving me a thingy there. Excellent. And... How dost Von return? Did I miss like a grazing egg area? Uh, hey Sadiq, what's going on buddy? Hope you're well. I think I can probably see that. But, uh, oh wait a minute. Um, yeah. So that, this is what I mean. I'm so out of touch with Portal at the minute. So that's an extra criteria. Gotcha. That's a Fizzler criteria. So... What's that noise? What is that? I've never... I don't think I've ever heard that before. Bizarre. It's almost like I'm. It's almost like the speed up from like a funnel or, or such, but it's not. That's the laser catcher. 
Is that that's not that's not vanilla, surely. Please tell me that is not vanilla. Alright, so then what I wanna do Do I wanna do that? Okay, I think what I'm gonna to wanna to do here is um do this. And then save. Okay, that allows us into here. I was gonna say I've that's very subtle music indeed. So what I needed to do was put the cube. I wasn't. Is that cube in play? Is that cube in play? I think it might be. So how do we get that cube? How do we get that to drop the? How do I get that to drop that? Or do I? Surely I need a secondary cube here. Laser's going to come through here, and then I'm going to redirect it back through there into there to open up both of these exit criterias. Necessarily get up to there. There might be. Is there a. It's not like there's a button up there. So if that cube is in play, where does it. It comes from another area, right? Start because um, things, stuff, and stuff, and things. All right, so we got to here. It's not even like we can redirect that back in a in a different Oh hold on. I have to redirect it off the top of there. Aren't I? Hence why the that is there. Would make sense. But the big question being unless oh, I mean do that. Everybody else has played this. Has anybody else suffered with frame issues? Or is it just me? Hmm. 
that's how we spawn the cube. Just totally didn't take that into, uh, just, yeah, all right. I think we, we let, let's just start the whole process again, because clearly I have not explored the map enough. Okay, so that does that. We then go back across to this side of the map. I potentially could have. No. So it's not possible to put a cube anywhere around there. That's fine. Okay. If I was going to do that, that would have to go over there. My only concern here doing this is I don't think it's going to work for the simple reason of don't think I can maintain yeah, because there's, um, yeah. we can't get that shot there okay let's think We only need to put the portal in there, though, don't we? Oh, look at that vine swinging through there. Did you did you, did you sin it? There it is. Look, look how cool that looks. Um. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Fly across to here. Go to here. Go to here. You know what? We'll even go to here. It doesn't really matter. Because once we're in here, we can simply do that. Take the cube. And do that. Okay. Done. Next. Take that back. Do we need to leave a cube in here? Yes, we do. Come back here, cube. Where did you go? Let's imagine I didn't just toss that through there. So this is going to come over here, and we're going to want to angle it kind of, say, over there. We might want to do this later. We might need to bring the other cube back first All right scrap what I just did I'm so so decisive I've seen quite a few companion cubes to be honest okay so now we have this we can set this up easier than I did it before by just doing something like this Okay. I think we're going to need this out here. I'm not entirely sure. So, next I would say this cube goes into there. That would seem logical. I don't really think it matters which cube goes in there, but let's put this cube in there. So 
It's going to come through this one. And then we're going to aim it sort of over there. And then we'll head on over this side of the bridge again. do something like this and this. That's coming back over here. Okay. But we need to get up to here. So, let's take it back a step. May have jumped the gun a little bit with the positionings of everything. Doesn't matter where we position that the mix, we need to go up here anyway. Get on the bridge. And then this goes through the bridge, of course. Classic Portal 2 movement. I hate maneuvering things on bridges. Maybe I need to leave that open for now. Let's think. Come here, companion cube. So. I want to say. Do you know what, actually? do something like going up here going through and swapping out to the laser right I'm just gonna save here because if this is towards the end I want a, a pretty good save spot see I think I should have Put the cube down. My only problem is I don't really know where the where the cube needs to be positionally. You'd have to argue that there's a better there's a better way to get the cube on here rather than just like dropping it. Right? Because that's always going to dislodge. Interesting that dropper stays open once it's um, been used once. So how would I... I'm so rusty at Paul. I mean, I could do this. I 
Is that cheat? I mean, I don't know. Is that intended? I don't see how I could... I don't know. I, I don't see... Just taking it back a step. We, we need this cube to open up this. The cube's on the light bridge. The only way to open that up with that and there is to use that. I don't know. I don't know if that's intended. What are we saying, guys? I'm just going to say with that one, thank you very much for the follow because I do not want to butcher your name. I'm going to call you... Piz? <laughs> I'm going to call it... Alright, so... Super Dirt. <coughs> I don't know if I've solved it right, though. I don't know if I've solved this right. <laughs> but I don't know... A, I don't know what na language you're natively speaking. I don't know how you pronounce certain letters in, the, in said languages. I would call it... Piz Nazwi Uzi Tukanoika. Pronunciation not, not not my strongest fault at the thing at the best of times. Alright, so I got this situation, Super Dirt, okay? <laughs> and this is what I did. And I I generally I don't know if this is how I'm meant to do it, but I, I literally just did this. Because putting the cube in places and stuff. This is how I solved it. Is that right? Is that right? You didn't solve it that way, Sadiq, but close enough. Mm -hmm. Second cube is over there, redirecting the laser back over here. can do it without dropping the cube. Alright. Iron Smeltry thinks he's got an idea. So let's let's think about this, okay? Um Setup is correct, but I'm moving the wrong cube. So, are you insinuating there's a cube respawn? I think what you're saying is cube respawn this one into position at the end. If I read that correctly, so in that case, if 
frustratingly as well, I did actually say... So that's not wrong. All right, let me let me think about this because there's a lot going on here. Just answer a simple question. Just answer the question: Do I need to respawn the second cube? So there's no respawns involved. Okay. So, let's... See, I had thought, I had contemplated before about positioning this cube on the floor in advance. But the, the, the problem with that is if I drop down here now, how can, I can't then get back up here or have a portal in there at the same time. Okay. Like positioning that cube there, unless I do that, is that what you want me to do? It's the fact, though, that you're saying keep one in advance. So if we've got to place a queue in advance, then... isn't where it's supposed to be but it is functioning as it should okay so on that basis thinking then I don't think this is going to work though is it because um, I need to get back somehow and open that up so I would need to have the other cube back as well but I'm thinking about like doing this instead comes down here, it goes across there. Problem with that would be, like I had when I spawned this cube originally, once I get in here, this is closed off and I don't have a way to then leave a portal on here and return to the other side. 
So I don't, I don't think that's... I don't think that's the right thing to do. So how can I make that then come down here and keep everything I need? That is the $64 million pound question. Because I already sort of, we, we already kind of proved out that we can't go through here. No cube standing, right? Just putting that out there, there's no cube standing, is there? I had a cube here. I could potentially jump in there, but then I wouldn't be able to get to know. Just ignore that comment. That comment's dumb. able to respawn that cube from here. I could if I cheated. But I don't really want to cheat. down anywhere. Wait, that is a thing? Didn't I try that before? And that didn't work. No, the idea was to find the solve the puzzle first and then we're just gonna look for the hat afterwards, but basing on what's going on at the minute I don't think we'll be doing that. <laughs> um
what if... So I don't need to use the room behind the glass anymore. Okay. So that would mean... Alright, so that that's that's what I'm confused about. Unless You see, that's what I'm confused about, because... He's saying I was focusing on moving the wrong cube, but how can I now remove this cube when I can't respawn that cube? It makes no sense. Still doesn't help. It still doesn't help. See, what I was going to do when you first came into the into this was to switch the cube positions, and you was like, "The cubes, are, the cubes are all right, okay." And then when I asked about respawning cubes, I was told, "Don't need to respawn the cubes." Did I not? So I'm just totally confused. <sighs> so I don't need to respawn as part of the, the solution, but then it, <laughs> you just said it has auto respawn. <sighs> I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on anymore. If respawn is not part of the solution, why are we talking about respawning? I don't get it. Right, thank you. So, I'm right in saying that what I tried to do when you first came into the chat of swapping the cubes around is what I need to do. The cubes are in the wrong positions. So, the, the last 10 minutes could have been totally avoided if I'd have just got on with it and respawned the cubes like I wanted to, uh, reposition the cubes like I wanted to. Yeah, so, yeah, but that's the same thing. The cubes are in the wrong position. They need to be swapped. I was trying, I was about to swap them. Swapping the cubes, it becomes really easy what I need to do, I believe. I don't get to, I, I don't mean to get mad, but this is just kind of like a really 
annoying thing sometimes about when, and it kind of goes to the whole thing about spoiling and backseat gaming, it can just get so confusing as to what people are saying to do and what they're trying to say to, 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 to do. Right, so if I don't need to use the room behind the glass at all, after I've done this, I can take this out of here. And I can totally forget about that room. Simple. So then that becomes here. That goes across to there like that. Yeah, I didn't I wasn't anticipating it to roll that fast to be fair. So very much my bad on that. Now it becomes simple. Get some water, take a breath, and then we'll look for the hat. Give us a sec. seen that emote before, Sadiq. Alright, so let's clarify the rules of the, the hat, right? It is visible, correct, from inside the map. Correct? It may not be inside the map, but it is visible from the inside of the map. Do you class um, entrance area as inside of the map? I did read the description, yes. Just says that you didn't, you didn't it's not necessarily in the playable area. Well, if it's not in the overgrown area, then there's no point in us looking 
in said area. So by the volume, by the volume of the map, you mean within the bounds of the test chamber? So not in any of the BTS stuff. Right, okay. So, if it's within the volume of the test chamber... I would assume we are going to be looking at places where... Let's start off by looking at places where all there are all broken tiles and such. Broken tiles and death, of course. Can't check over there because of that. I think you need some collision there. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh dear. Kind of seems like I triggered a, a bit of a reaction there from uh, Super Dirt when I was looking over in this direction. Decide that I could no. You would think something like bright blue by nature would like stand out like a bloody sore stick out like a sore thumb. Isn't that the expression I'm looking for? Stand out like a sore thumb. That would be cruel. More than anything else, that would be cruel, but... Um, let's not put it past anybody. I 
Don't give him any ideas for future future maps, guys. That's not what we're here to do. <laughs> there it is! There's my hat, right there. Blending in with the blue framework. <laughs> Found it! But yeah, with you saying like within the volume of, of the like the actual playable area as such, when I really, when you think about that, there's only really a few places that have got broken tiles. Uh, I mean, there's up here, but there's no way to actually get up to here and have a look. Uh, we did have a look in this area here, and other than the broken area here, that's pretty much it. Now look closely into the big BTS hole. This one. Over here. Or the one in the spawn side. I've seen both the companion cubes, the one there and the one near the exit. There's some shoes there, some trainers. Oh, Bendy. Hey, Bendy. What you doing? I see you. I see you. Is that the toilet over there? Yeah, there's a bathroom lock. Hey, Bendy. You creepy son of a biscuit. I like the trainers. Well, the trainers are pretty cool. Shame they're not a bit more detailed, but uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. I see you. There's lots of trainers, which is kind of weird. Why are Aperture employees so um, insistent on throwing shoes over wires? Like we're in some sort of downtown place. But yeah, there we go. Cool map. I found the stuff. And uh, everybody is happy. My frame race finally settled itself down as well, which is uh, another bonus. Can I go into Peabody's? No. Oh man, why am I stuck on? I don't know. I said, it was, I said at the top of the map, though, it was quite interesting to have like the um, disassembly. I wasn't expecting that. But, um, yeah, great work on that map, though. Great visuals, um, definitely. Um, yeah, massive BTS area. Great job. And uh, I look forward to seeing the next one. But uh, just like that, guys, unfortunately, I am out of time. Um, thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Uh, we'll be back with something sometime soon. Not that I know what that will be, but um, who knows? We'll be back. Um, we'll hopefully get back to doing some more portal soon as well. I know um, things have gone a bit downhill on the, the portal stuff, but uh, a lot of other stuff still going on at the minute. Um, I'll give you all a nice update uh, in a few days when I do my February vlog. Yes, you heard it here first. I'm doing a February vlog. There is going to be more than one vlog this year. Um, I'm going to try and stick to my guns on it this time, like for sure, and um, bring another one. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all later. Peace, bye. Bye. I said bye. <laughs>